Hi guys, welcome to the Telltaler Club. Now, in the United Kingdom, we do an exam of syllabus called the um, ABRSM, which is a piano examination board. And um, we have a series of um, books that are published every couple of years, and we can pick um, three of our favourites from three different sections for an examination. Now, um, if, in America, I, I think you can sit the exams as well because they've started, after COVID, they've started doing distance examinations, um, so, which is really exciting news. It means you can do them wherever you are in the world and they're highly, highly respected. However, I really don't necessarily um, believe in the uh, the necessity to take exams to you know, f uh, to create a fulfilling musician. So I'm not um, specifically saying that you should do the exams, far from it. But what I do really like is structured learning, yeah? Structured learning where you create um, uh, goals and habits is the best way to learn a musical instrument. Um, the discipline is... Uh, by far and away um, the most advantageous way to develop your musicianship okay so I, I'm a strong believer in that and for that reason I'm going to do um, over the coming couple of months the whole list of grade one cello and piano as well as Suzuki I do Suzuki and the ABRSM jazz and classical syllabuses so we're going to be doing them all so lots of hours in the day we can do this you don't have to do them all what i want you to do is pick um your favorites and you can follow me or if you're particularly um, able adventurous or have lots and lots of time to spare then you can pick and choose and do as many as you like and these recordings will last forever anyway so the piano exam piece um that we're going to uh, have a quick listen to now, a little chat about, is called A Toy. Um, and it is number 193 from the Fitzwilliam Virginal Book, Volume 2. Um, obviously a children's book. Um, and this is a, a I, I think it's my favourite um, of the A section of the, the pieces that we have at our disposal. But we've got a massive choice um, ahead of us. Now, what I've done is I've slowed it down. I'm going to play you this very, very slowly. And the reason I'm doing it slowly is because it's less frightening and we'll be starting slowly. And what I'll be doing is I'll be doing the left and right hand separately for you and then you can play the corresponding hand. And I've got a, a lovely method for teaching um, a wonderful all-rounded um, way of playing uh, piano. So it's going to be really great fun for us. So let's let's have a quick listen and then and then we'll maybe talk about what I think it can offer. So if you listen carefully, you would have heard that there's quite a lot of um, sections that are single-handed. So we've got a bit in the right and a bit, bit in the left. It's sort of uh, a kind of, um, not an echo, but more of a, a sort of round. Um, and I think that's, um, that's, really, that's really good for us because it means um, we can be fairly confident because we're sort of learning repeat motifs and repeat patterns. It was uh, a piece, it was very sweet, wasn't it? In terms of um, almost uh, ch childlike, it was quite childlike, but a little bit almost verging on a sort of um, uh, lullaby, nursery song. But don't forget, I've slowed it down. I've played it very slowly there. 
Um, when we speed it up a bit, it uh, it sounds a bit more playful. So it is quite a playful number. And let's look at the title. It's called A Toy. So we can see already that um, this idea that it could be perhaps, um, oh, could it be a puppet moving its arms and legs or um, something, um, something animated, definitely. Um, I guess, uh, you know, contemporary toys, uh, animations and things like that might might be quite good to imagine if you're learning this piece. Look, depending on how old you are, you're going to have different ideas about what this piece represents. If you're a mum or a dad, um, you might think very differently to if you're five or six, for example. Um, the age for anyone doing a grade one um, standard piece really would be um, about six at the very youngest, um, probably more between seven and eight. But r I teach adults, and the wonderful thing about um, the Telltale Kids uh, podcast is that I can teach anyone. And I try to um, encapsulate different um, styles and methods for all of us to benefit from. But the first thing is to pick the pieces that you really, really like. So if you like this piece, we're going to um, be, be looking at that in the next few days. Once my, um, I'm, I'm going to put a few up over the next few days and, and we can start to get a feel for everything. And then we're going to start the classes next week. And uh, I think you should listen to them all before you make decisions about which ones you want to do. But as I say, you can come back to them at any point. And the wonderful thing about the internet is that these classes will be uh, live forever, even when the examinations are over. And as I say, we don't have to do the exams at all. So let me know in a message if you like, if you've got any questions about that. And um, I look forward to teaching you that piece very, very soon.